Woo. First three, first lake is done. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> George Lake, we just completed it. It is day one of our eight day trip portaging through the lakes of Killarney. There's a bit of a beaver dam going on. So we have to all get out of the canoe, lift it over the dam and then go into the next lake. All right, we just got to sight. The sun has just passed over the horizon, so it'll be dark pretty soon. Canoe is in place. Good morning, guys. It's about 10.30, and uh, Eric and I just got out of our hammocks. Apparently, James here has been up for quite a while. Took down the bear bag, went out for a canoe trip, uh, today's one of our short days, so we're not, well, shorter days, so we didn't necessarily have to wake up at about 7 like we will probably on most days. So it'll, it'll be pretty good. We're gonna set up for breakfast, and then take down our stuff, and then get ready to go. We got it. How inflated that is. Oh, jeez. That's fine. Shut the valve first. Okay, we're trying. 102? All right, we're going on the water. We're setting sail. Everything's packed down, everything's ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> I wish you didn't Honestly, yeah. If you look about that way, it looks like there still is water. That is where we're gonna have to go through. According to the map and the GPS, there is a stream that'll push us through there. And uh, I just kind of got off to have a closer look, but it looks like that's where we're gonna have to push. Back to the canoe. And uh, we will continue on with the adventure. I'll get us through this gap here. Oh, look, someone went there. Someone both whacked there. No. Could have been an animal, if anything. Yeah, okay, right side for right sure. Right yeah. Get yeah. arrogance of grass. <laughs> yeah, just no dive there into the grass. How oh, you like your bush? Oh, he definitely likes the beaver. What was that sound? I think that's the stream. It must have a much lower water level because we're gonna have to portage through that bring our canoe with us. I walked out of the water because we kind of have a bit of a beautiful dam stuck there. I think we're gonna have to start taking out our gear now and uh, James is changing into his Crocs to at least get to land. Overall, Crocs might be a better idea. It's just gonna take a while. Uh, when it comes to the earlier spot, we ended up backing up and then going around and finding uh, the, the right way to go. Change of plans. They're gonna back up, come this way get onto the can get the canoe onto land over here and there's actually a trail that goes down that way at least for a little bit of a distance so that'll be our solution for now we've been uh canoeing through these creeks for quite a while lots of little spots where uh, we actually had to get out drag the canoe over the branches get around the rocks we had to dig our paddles into the into the water like pretty deep some places were really shallow and here we realized we had to get out uh, Eric actually just found where we're going to be portaging so that's great if you look it definitely ends here and if you look over there it's absolutely beautiful let me get out from the trees I just think that looks amazing 
well, we've uh, checked three different spots. This is the third spot. Right over there, there's a branch blocking our way, so we assumed that it wasn't the right way, but we've also noticed that the water levels are lower than usual. Eric and James have gotten off into that distance to see if potentially that's the Portage Trail, but apparently they have no signs. We've backtracked that way a whole bunch. We cut through the lake that's that way a little bit, but that was covered in marshlands. Honestly, at this point, we don't really know when. It's starting to get late. I'm starting to get hungry. <sighs> we'll find it for sure. And if not, we'll find a spot. We'll set up camp and we'll figure it out the next day. I heard you guys went hiking and then on your way back, uh, bushwhacking and on the way back, that's when you found it. So essentially the original plan was that if we could keep going north, we would intersect with uh, like a flash silhouette and then we would find our way um, to our to basically our next uh, lake and then, we would and then we would find the right way back. But after going for about 200-300 meters, we realized that the thing was still two kilometers away. So we decided it was a dumb idea. We we're gonna get lost, so we had to come back and just by chance we found this trail. Yeah, and this trail, we go this way. Right off into that corner, you can just barely see the portage sign. And then over here's the river. We passed by it twice. Uh, we left our stuff down that way. Yeah. It'll be hard to, to find a way to get here. So uh, we're leaving some sticks here. Hopefully that helps somebody. And I actually plan on telling the people at the receptionist. Kilometer and a half? Yeah, but All right. Like eight, yeah, we have two sets of 900 meter portages yeah, to so do. Maybe, maybe just over uh, what I said. Yeah. And, and then the last stretch to our site. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting late, but we still have some sun, so yeah. we're gonna we make our way back. Like, what, hour or two? Yeah, maybe another hour or two. This will take us probably. This will probably take us an hour. Yeah. To the end, Wednesday. Quite harsh part of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Real quick, that little channel that we fit through, uh, we weren't actually able to get the canoe through, so we had to get off, walk along the middle section here. James was on this side, I was on that side, and we used the end of our canoes to drag this canoe all the way. Yes, end of our paddles, to drag it all the way to here, and now we can get to the portage. It's literally a channel that has about half the width of the canoe. We had to drag the canoe through it, so. Yeah, I'm glad we're uh, glad we're done that. Yep, real quick, we're coming from that way, going down that way. This is the portage section. We are gonna bring our gear and then go back for the canoe. We have just intersected with the blue marker, which means that this over that way and over that way is La Cloche. There's the hiking tra trail that we did two years ago. Yep, you heard it, 10.43. We got the site about five, 10 minutes ago. <sighs> a little bit of a long day, but it was really nice. We're gonna get some water going, we're gonna set up our shelters real fast, and then we're probably gonna get some food in our systems. That was the big three for the time being. I'm but, so done. Yeah. I've never been this done at a camp. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be even better tomorrow, it'll be great. It's just past nine o'clock. I got out of my hammock, I took down the bear bag, put my sleeping bag away, and actually came back into the hammock to relax just a little bit. I'm ready, I think, uh, well, maybe a few more minutes of sleep would be nice, except for the fact that the beautiful view right in front of us has a blazing sun.